Welcome back everybody to the V4 Vanilla server and last episode we got started on that skyscraper you see behind me the old V4V building and today we're gonna continue work on it hopefully get a lot of the interior done and maybe a little maybe even a little landscaping around the outside here but the first start is the first start the first part is definitely to start on tackling some of the bigger areas like say the floor down here all these windows and you know the roof we need to stop getting rained on in here it's getting ridiculous so that's what I'm gonna work on here get uh, a little bit of the lobby laid out and then get back to you as we work on some of the minor details on the inside but first I'm gonna hop off camera get some of the big big uh, big parts of it done and then we'll be back all right, I think I'm on the right road here to figuring out what we're going with inside. We got a floor design. There we go. This is going to be like a big lobby area here. We got the big V4V. Fits the theme mighty fine, I do believe. Some other random gray blocks that look like they could be part of a floor. Sure, why not? And, of course, we got lights in here, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, I crashed. No. Hey look, we're back. Still the same floor and the same lights. We got those. I don't know where I might have got cut off, but uh, on to the next one. We're going to have some elevators here. We need to be able to get up to the top floors where the recording studios will be. So we'll need some elevators. Seems like right about here is a good spot. Uh, some kind of framing for the elevators. Try to get a double door into them. Oop, hit the wrong spot there. And what's going to be behind the elevators? Not really sure. Maybe some kind of offices. Uh, but I'm going to get these elevators in and we'll see how much space they end up actually taking up here. All right, we've got our elevators all set. You see them in there. One, two elevators, one for each side. And they're, of course, as fancy and high tech as they come. Uh, you know, lots of redstone involved in a ladder. That's right. We've got uh, a Jeb door down there and a ladder to actually do the ascending part of the elevator and it doesn't even go up that high you can see we've got like another 60 blocks up in this building and this elevator goes up about six blocks because we're actually outside the building this these blocks here are like the roof outside of the V so we can't go up any higher unless we just did a single elevator right in the middle and yeah, I kinda like how the double looks so we're gonna keep the double we do need some kind of doors here. I wanted to throw these in. I don't think I can put them right there because that's glass. So they have to go like this. And then I guess we need like a button or something to be able to get out of here. So this is the elevator. You come up and you press the button to open the door. Not as fancy as the doors down below. Nope, not at all. But it should still work just fine. We can get pressure plates, I guess, out here to be able to get inside. Ooh, that's going to be a pain. You try to come around the corner and the door like opens up right in your face. Oh well, it'll do for now. Uh, we will do the same thing on the other side. The alternative would be to not have any kind of door at all, but then you really do lose the elevator illusion, and I think that part of it's pretty fun. Why do I even... That doesn't even make sense to have a door there. There's no block above it. I guess we need a block there too. Does that look bad? No, I had one on the other side. It was just missing. Okay. Uh, we need the pressure blades. There we go. And no, I'm not going to forget. I will put the buttons in over on the other side too. Double buttons. Why not? Because we spare no expense at the V for V skyscraper. Anyway, I did a little more than just the elevator. You saw we had the whole front like facade there down in the room. This back room still needs a little bit of work. We need all the windows. I think this is going to be like a solid glass panel here. That would look pretty cool. And then as we go up, uh, some kind of decorative features back there. And then we get into the, kind of the first main floor here. I'm thinking good place for some offices. Dr. Phil's offices, uh, a nice lobby for uh, inpatient services, perhaps, as opposed to the, the lobby that's downstairs. I don't know, a lobby on top of a lobby. And then we get into a kind of sketchy, but will soon hopefully be safer staircase uh, to take us up. And this is where we're going to get into room for the recording studios, which will probably have like a balcony for more seating because we've got so much vertical room here and not much actual room in terms of footprint. 
So, you know, we, we're we going somewhere. We're going somewhere. I went and got a ton more quartz to do all these stairs. We're even using bone blocks in here for, like, our structural supports. Uh, it goes with the, the colors, but it's not quite as clean as the quartz. It still looks fine, though, because it is a different kind of purpose. Stairs versus uh, cross beams kind of thing. Anyway, we got a lot done. And there's still so much more to do. This whole back half with, you know, decorating everything. This is insanely huge. It's going to take a while. But I'm going to try to get it all done in this one episode. I think the stairs crossing the window there still look okay. I was worried about that, but it's all right. Like I said, going to try to get it done in this episode. So it's going to be lots of me clipping back and forth, showing you what we got. And uh, it's time for another one of those. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back with another update. We've got some glass. You can see we got windows, a little door kind of thing going on. A lot of glass here on the first floor, but the bulk of what I did upstairs, we're going to go and check that out. I did get the floor done in this back room and cleaned up what uh, the back half of the elevators looks like. I'm thinking this area in here could be like a cafeteria, food court kind of place. Get some tables and work them out into a patio outside. Could look pretty good, but that'll be for the next update. Right now, let's head up our fancy elevator and check out what I have been working on. It is going to be quite the update. Oh, we got to get out the door. There we go. No, we're stuck in the door. All right, we made it up. Uh, nothing new on this first floor. Nothing new in terms of what I guess will be uh, some kind of reception or office area. But up here, up here, the recording studio is is coming along quite nicely. We've got the stage, so this is where we'll put a couple chairs in. And you can see we've got a lot of room for audience in our, uh, our bleacher kind of seats there. We're going to need to put a camera somewhere in the middle. But not only that, we've got a balcony seating up there. So if you go up the stairs, now these are not the best seats, not the best sight lines. But you can see a little bit from these seats up here. You can see just barely peeking over, catch a little bit of the stage if you're sitting in the upper deck here. And then that covers it for our building. We're not going to try to squeeze in anything else up top. We'll just leave it really open ceiling, maybe work in some lighting. Uh, but So we've got a bulk of the interior done here. Just need to finish some things off as far as uh, getting some chairs in here, camera, probably some kind of carpet. And I do want to put uh, mine carts in here for actual seats so people can come and watch. So that's what I've got going on. That's the update for right now. Still a lot left to do in terms of downstairs with our lobby entranceway, uh, you know, exterior bushes out the back patio, something like that. And plenty left to do here as well as we still need to finish off some some details to really bring this recording studio to life. Uh, so we got one more update, I think. One more should do it, and I'm going to get to work and see what I can get done. All right, we have done it. We're back for the final update, and I think she is done all the way. All the way done. Let's go check it out top to bottom. We've got gardens done on the outside, nothing too fancy, just something to kind of finish up the area, give it some lining along the sidewalk. As we move inside, we even have some plants. We've got a little front kind of reception desk area going on here, and just a small little welcome center. Most of this room, we're going to stay empty. You know, maybe it can be used to host larger events, like a ballroom kind of situation, but lot, lots of room for events going on. As we move, we'll stay on the first floor, move to the back. Uh, like I said, we ended up going with a food area. We have kind of a kitchen-esque kind of shop. You know, you got the, the sneeze bar glass here, the food right behind it. You come over here to your cash register, pay your money, and there's a dessert bar. You got your cakes, all you can eat. I will take a little bite. There we go. A few tables here, and as we move outside, we have a lot more tables, nice little garden, and our sweet V, v fountain. V for V fountain, even white and blue, fitting with the colors. Looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. And uh, a lot more tables, seating, and some, some hedges to kind of define the area. And I like the way the walls, the cobble walls here, uh, I originally I was like, oh, maybe it'll keep the mobs out because, you know, you can't get through the walls. But with the, with the leaf blocks there, they can actually jump in now. So it's kind of convenient for us getting around. 
but we got to keep our eye out for mobs getting in the in the back patio as well. As we head upstairs, we've got all the rooms, all the interiors done upstairs as well. Just gotta check that out. All our lighting is done, finished up all that. All the everything's lit. No torches around. Pretty cool. Some more shrubbery. And if we move here, it's another reception, kind of waiting room, office area, a couple desk, uh, kind of working station type things, places where we can get some work done on our computers. And then lots of seating space if you want to sit down and read a book in, uh, I guess it's kind of a library. And then as we move upstairs into the recording studio, boom, you got a camera right in front of you. So we've got the the main camera, one camera show, and we can sit down here in our chair and have a little chat with our guest on the on the show. We've got our coffee mug there as well. Put some mine carts in for the seating, so if you want to come and enjoy the show and take a watch from the audience, you can do that in your own very special seat. And as we move farther upstairs, Yep, little balcony there. Nothing too much to see. I did not put minecart seats in up here. I don't think the upper deck would get used too much. So you can just kind of take a little, a little shifting squat and, and pretend you're, you're sitting down if you're sitting in the upstairs upper deck. And as we move farther up all the way to the roof, this is going to be only kind of for maintenance purposes. So we don't really need stairs. If we go all the way up to the roof, we even have a nice little room and a hallway here because you can come up from the ladder on the other side as well. Uh, nothing over here. This is all just empty storage. You don't need to see that. Nothing going on. And then to the roof. The roof is pretty cool. I like the way the roof turned out. We've got a, a radio tower here doing its thing for communication purposes. Lots of... Heating and air ducts and electrical equipment going on up on the roof. And we even have our very own satellite dish. Check this out. I don't think I can... I'll, maybe I'll do a flyby view in a minute. Get a, get a good shot of it. But that's pretty cool. We got a satellite dish on the roof because we are going to be sending our TV productions out to a mass audience. Let's see if I can fly here. If I can't, it's not going to work out too well. Alright, there we go. There's the satellite dish. Now we can see it. It looks pretty good, not too bad. I think it gets the point across at least. You can tell what it is, and that's all we can ask for. So there it is. We are done. We finished the old V for V skyscraper. It's I love it. What can I say? One of my favorite builds for sure. I love everything from the fountain in the back to the satellite dish on the top, even the, the, the camera in the recording studio. It all looks great. I love it all. Um, let's just go stand on some cakes and say a little goodbye, though, because that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, everybody, with an arrow to the head. Ooh, we got the fountain in the back. That's a nice shot right there. Yes, it is. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode and you like the finished skyscraper. I sure do. Uh, leave a comment down below if you like it. Let me know what you think or if there's anything I should add to it. Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.